Okay, here I am, still in Kuta Beach in Bali. Uh, this one is, uh, this little thing behind me, well, it's, it's not little. Uh, it certainly represents something much bigger than it looks. Um, this is the memorial to the, um, for the people who were murdered by the uh, radical uh, Muslim, you know, group or whatever you call them, um, that, uh, you know, had a bomb set up some bombs and this nightclub. Apparently this is where the nightclub used to be. Yeah. And so behind me is the monument listing all of the people who died. So uh, yeah, it's if you come to Bali you really want to come and see this, particularly if you're Australian because a big chunk of them were Australians. Okay. It wasn't the only bombing, there was another one that was uh, closer to the beach or on the beach. In fact, I uh, have a, an acquaintance or even a friend who uh, was uh, affected by that and he's a very intelligent guy, ran a successful law practice, he's a lawyer, a law practice in, um, in, in Newcastle in Australia and um, he's, he suffered brain damage. He wasn't expected to live but uh, thanks to the miracles of modern medical intervention, etc., he did live, but uh, he's kind of a shell of his former self. So, um, yeah, particularly if you're Australian or you've, you know, you've got, you know, people who were affected by this, uh, you should come and have a look at it. You'll probably find it a little bit moving. It's closed today, I can't get in, but uh, just, just thought I'd. Uh, give you a little bit of a heads up on it and uh, it's uh, if it walk, walk time it'd be about 15 minutes walking back from the beach okay so there it is